All right, so this is game three of this best of three. This is the deciding match. And we are in a two-player map, so everybody mm -hmm. knows where they are. In the bottom left, we have our red Terran Kutramal. And in the top right, probably as, buff as buffled as us, yeah, it's Daddy Ra in the top right. All right. <laughs> Cook Trommel is not too happy about <laughs> losing that last game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, oh, oh Daddy. <laughs> Daddy too, man. Much love. Much love is shared. A bro uh. love. Oh, Cook Trommel's teammate is in the chat from the Fun Day Monday tournament. That's good to see. Getting some support there. Yep. All right, let's see what they do this time. Is Cook Trommel going to do the same thing at the ramp? Yeah, I'm really curious about this. I really kind of like his... Um... Hiding wall of thing and Zerk Cleaver already. You're lagging. Oh, Come on. Uh, <laughs> letting, letting us down here, man. <laughs> Wait, I really want to see him do this wall of thing again. Mm. So it's cute, quite... and it just. And it throws the, his opponent for, through a loop. Yeah, he's doing it. He's doing it. It delays the barracks for a second, but it's quite nice. Yeah, it's nice because it stops him from being able to... The only time I would like consider this in my play, I think, is if I was doing a 3-rex all in. Mm. Just 3-rex cheese of one base of SC people. But, I don't know. Uh, well, no, Daddy is sending out the scout now, and he's not going to see and he's anything. Gonna, once again, he, once again, he's going to get denied by this, like, supply depot. Yeah. That's really quite clever. So he's no not going to get to see anything, apart from the fact that there's a barracks, and you kind of expect that. Could have had a little poke at the SCV there, but he's just going to go home. No gas yet for Cook Trouble. God damn it. Again. The barracks is complete, and there's still no gas. <laughs> ah, he's going straight for the expand. Mm-hmm. And that's he's expanding on the low ground. Wow, that's new for him. Yep, bold. Literally a first in this series. Uh, Daddy's throwing uh, out a pile on at his gold. He's gonna expand in the gold. Oh my I god! I think oh, he's no, going wait. straight there. Uh, no, that that positioning of the pile on implies otherwise. I think he's just gonna go for a stargate here. Poxy stargate. Oh. An odd place to put it, really. I'm psychic. <laughs> but. Uh, could work. Uh, not that odd. It's not a likely place to get scouted. No, I mean, it's, it's un, it's, it is unlikely to be spotted. Uh, this SCV is going to get in here. Could be a little bit suspicious about all that gas. But the SCV does get taken out. Uh, how much did they, did they see everything? Didn't see the second gas. Wow. Hmm. Might still be a little bit suspicious, but uh, that would have definitely sent up a red flag if we'd spotted that. Sending another SCV in. Wow. Which is not going to get anywhere with that stalker there. Mm -hmm. Well, aside from the actual casting, I'd like to just put it on record of it quiet because I'm just messaging back and forth with Alexander, who has now shown up. Like it on the record, he is indeed a dick bag for forgetting that this was even a thing. <laughs> Showing up two hours late. Yep, without <gasps> even being aware that this is a thing anymore. Well, oh well, we're having a great time. Daddy's put down yes. two extra gateways. Oh. And... But this oracle is doing work. Turrets don't really have the range to completely deny everything. I'm afraid. It's, I mean, it's almost dead, but uh, Turret the Natural Ooh. isn't even done yet. Yeah, Dali's looking really strong right now. Six kills okay. so far. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's backing out. Gonna get some more energy. Yeah. 
And uh, there's Balanceries again, so I guess Spiral Cruises? <laughs> that's some risky play on a map like Overgrowth. Why would you not do something bigger if you're gonna do this? I'm confused. I, I don't know. Quite a few Stalkers here now, and the Oracle's coming back in, but doesn't have a lot of energy still. And there is a turret there now. <laughs> yeah, but um, these Stalkers are gonna be a pain in the... Yeah, they could get that worker there. And they do. Mm -hmm. And there's a second Oracle out now. Trommel's going for the third, even though this is happening oh. right now. Still doing oh, that. Really happening. Uh, but he's, uh, he's hold oh, here, I think. The repair. The repair, the repair is very real. Two like, kills on that planet. What he should be doing is um, what he should do really is just keep on putting pressure on that planetary from the edge with that mothership core, which can't be reached by the planetary. Hmm. Surprise isn't part of this. He's going for void rays though, which I think he, is a really good choice. He is going for void rays, yeah. Hopefully, actually goes for Void Rays this time. It doesn't give up it's after two. Yeah. Oh, not anyway. Well, he's given up for one. Oh, well. Oh, I, damn it! I thought it was a good decision. <laughs> I thought it was a great decision. I really thought it was going to do well. This third Daddy. has been spotted now. Yeah. This is going to get denied. Yeah, this definitely. It's going to fly away. It's going to kill. Fly it away. This. At this point, it's too late. It's over. <laughs> it's just. It's just gone. Yeah. Uh, I need to get the repair on that. Seems oh. to be a little bit weak against very aggressive plays. Goes down and Cook Drong is now supply blocked. Mm -hmm. Heavily supply blocked. Uh, he does have turrets up now. So the Oracle can't do much more. Why did he take out of those voyages? I'm really sad about those voyages. Yeah, um, he's not actually really making much at all at this moment. Oof. Oracle gets a couple more uh, kills. Yeah, no, there's 11 workers killed so far this game. That's pretty good. Oh. The supply is really favoring Daddy in terms of army supply. Worker supply is actually in favor of uh, Kirk Trouble. Doesn't really mean anything because he's not really making any... Oh, he's finally making Banshees, but they're also going to do very, very little against the Oracles. Kirk Trouble's army is almost non-existent. Making banshees and cloak. Uh, Interesting choice. Uh, he's going for the turrets everywhere again. I don't think he's gonna do very. The what's called the banshees aren't gonna do very much because there's a um, robo already out. Just crawl out and observe if he needs one. There's a uh, warp prism on the way. Mm. Not in a good spot. So high tech auto tracking is on the way. Yes, and uh, banshees are gonna be spotted on their way out. Warp Prism finding oh, out that it can't actually get in there. Well, it can, it just needs to find a better port triangle. Uh, there's another and, turret going uh, down these now. These punches are gonna find this... No, they're not. They almost found this proxy, but they didn't. <laughs> that Warp Prism needs to go right now or that turret's gonna finish. Okay, so there's gonna be Battle Cruises again. Yes, it is. It turns like today's battle because it's not too effective. There is an observer though. Yeah. It's getting denied really hard. Oh, one goes down and... That one almost goes down. And there's 20 health left. This got shut down really hard. That was really close. And um, I'm not sure if you know this, but turns out battle cruisers are not super efficient of two bases. Oh! The warp prism managed to get in and then moved back into the turret. <sighs> That is really awkward. Really unfortunate there. Could have warped in Zealots. Would have been quite a problem. Yep. Instead of not being dead. So Banshee's gone home. He's just going to clean up the pylon. It looks like Daddy Ra might be able to scout with his oracle that this third is trying to go back up. That's a very weird game. Again. Again, yeah. To be honest, if this was a normal game, I'd be surprised. <laughs> very. Uh, this Oracle is... could get some SCVs here. It, they are in okay, sight. Okay, should not be able to see this. Uh, he can see it, but he's not reacting. Yeah, I can see that. Um, I can see the, the refinery going back down, so he must know that this isn't going back up. Yeah. 
Could... We should probably try and shut this down before the orbital, before the uh, the planetary is finished already. So. Yeah. That's gonna be awkward. Could well, have got quite sure. a few kills What's there. What's he gonna do here next? He's got a Twilight Council on the way next. Don't know what he's gonna do with that. I, just... I don't know. <laughs> the blink, some more blink for us. It could just be for upgrades, but he's not. Got one one yet? No, he hasn't got one one yet. <laughs> he hasn't got anything yet other than warp deck. He's making immortals, which is weird. <laughs> which is weird. <laughs> I just you just I just don't think he knows that there's more battle cruisers on the way. Probably not. God, I hope he doesn't make more carriers. <laughs> Please don't do that again. It didn't work. But looks like this game might be going a little more in his favor because if he's if he does nice this third base. Two basic battle quizzes doesn't really work. <laughs> Can't need more bases than that. And with this many immortals, no amount of repair is gonna do anything here. No, it's if things are gonna fall very fast. Uh... Yep. And you can't really fly three battle cruisers into help because that's just not enough. I don't think. But the question is how many kills can the planetary get? It's up to three. It killed some zealots though. <laughs> zealot Four! Kills, though. You got four kills! Ooh, those are nice shots taking out the immortals, but... Um... Hasn't really accomplished much in the long run. Uh, if you can't take a third, you can't really do this very sustainably. No, it's not the third good. down for day already. It's a lot of money lost. And supply um, blocked again. Guy continues to go for nothing but gateways and not purchasing out of his starport. Yeah, uh, Stargate. Uh... Is he gonna try and fight this entirely in the ground? Confused. Seems to be plan. Well, not a bad plan with Blink, I guess. If he can attack this early enough, just warp in a bunch more stalkers and just go for it with good yeah. upgrades and Blink. Just roll on in there, I mean. Yeah, and just like start blink blinking back the hurt stalkers as they get attacked. You could really do a lot of damage. It could work. Uh, a few more immortals would be nice. Uh, this is planetary, he's not gonna fall uh, anywhere near as quick. He's... Yeah, it sounds like Bible because it's like pretty quick he's this many stalkers. Alright. The repair is happening. Mm -hmm. so... That's planetary's doing work though. A lot of it. Hmm. And these it's quite an interesting combination. The amount of cannons just hit insta kill uh immortals, ironically. Mm. And the uh, stalkers just get wiped up by the uh, planetary fortress, which has six kills now, wow. That was rather nice. That's quite a lot for a planetary. <laughs> but he did already lose a battle cruiser, which is not good. No, definitely not so expensive. Yeah, the resources lost still favors the progress quite quite sizable. They do. Uh, these battle cruisers do have quite a lot of energy between them. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm gonna see a blink up to the high. Oh, that was unfortunate. The the wind might get much. Oh, but he's, he's gonna have another battle cruiser. Before it can fire off. Uh, two more battle cruisers oh, go down. Wow. He can keep, Daddy can keep training like this because he's on three bases, whereas uh, his opponent's only on two. Yeah, he could keep doing this. It's kind yeah, that was of like cost efficient trade, but he doesn't have to trade cost efficiently. He c I mean, he could take another base at this point. Yeah, he could. If he wanted Quite happy. to. Just keep containing this. Terran forever. He's got basically. plenty of resources to do it, and mm -hmm. under no threat. Just gotta make sure that his opponent hasn't taken the other third, and just keep containing his opponent, really. I think this is Daddy's game to lose. Oh, really. Oracle nearly went into that wood of mine. Mm -hmm. Luckily it Go. moves so fast. Yep. Okay, we've got Archons coming up now. Mm -hmm. And, um... Kirk Trumbull was looking to see if he could maybe retake that third, but that's just not going to happen. And even though that he should probably take another base, he doesn't have to because three bases still beats two bases. Oh, the Unless Oracle has uh, um, spotted these battle cruisers, so we'll know if they move yeah. anywhere. Yep. Yeah. But doesn't know exactly move fast, so it's not like you have to desperately keep track of them like Nero. Yeah. <laughs> They're not going to suddenly be at your base. Yeah. Not like the battle cruisers in, um, in Starbow, which can blink for some reason. 
They can blink? Yeah, basically. They have blink. That's a frightening yep. thought. It's an amazing thought as a Terran. <laughs> All I do in 3 4 on Starbow is make a rush to Belkers and just mass blink Belkers. Just blink micro them. It's amazing. All right. Drum was trying to take the third at the in the other direction this time. Yeah, and it's and... like he's gonna get it up for now, but so... this Oracle's gonna see it immediately. Yep. Oh, these Belkers are gonna be in the way for now. Well, this, uh, STV's got very oh, hopeful. Blink for onto them. One goes down. Oh, one belt is gonna go down. Oh, but there's a lot of Yamato cannons. So many cannons. Oh, they just don't kill Archons. They're into 300 damage. Not quite enough. Yeah. We'll be awful. able to get this CC down. Alright, picks off another Immortal, which is a really nice pick off. I mean, that's killed this uh, CC. That's a lot of workers that just came into the battlefield. Oh, let's see those feedbacks. Oh, that's a good They're repairing. But Falcus is on trade super well versus uh, Stalkers. Not Blink Stalkers, anyway. Yeah, certainly not Blink ones. Uh, they're doing okay at the moment, just by numbers, but... Mm -hmm. Bringing those SCVs down for the repair was a really good idea. Definitely. And it looks like should be able to secure this third, finally, but... At this point, it is so late. It's already a third, fourth, just about finished for uh, Daddy as well, so it's not looking strong no. for uh, Cook Trouble. He's only really mining of one base at the moment, he's going to be mining of two, while Daddy goes back to mining of three. And it's now stacking quite a bit of resources. So as far as warping in a bunch of stalkers, you can do that over and over and over again, for sure. Mm. Which means you can trade even inefficiently against these battle cruisers. And with some decent feedbacks, you'll be able to make sure that those um, Yamato cannons don't go off much. And a few go off. That attack didn't really do anything. Right now, there's no Yamato. There's only one Yamato cannon left, or something. Not many, anyway. Not many. Mhm. Mm I'm just getting lower and lower. And that mothership core is playing a dangerous game. Oh, okay. <laughs> It's just, just hanging out there. Yep. <laughs> Not Those a good place to be. Spotted. That's going to be a very painful encounter for it. It would be nice to see some uh, some feedbacks. Oh, I like this zealot harass idea, but um, this planetary is probably going to have a field day with it. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't send zealots into a planetary. Not a great idea. No. Oh, no, I thought you might really. need to get workers though. And you a few. Minerals, might so. get a few, yeah. And that's worth it because uh, he's got a ton of minerals, but his opponent doesn't. It's like eco versus no eco, so. True. He has a lot of minerals in the bank. Not much gas, but. Yeah, but turns out zealots don't cost gas. <laughs> nope. Maybe so that's gonna be really, really good for the harass right now. Alright, so this planetary's mm. probably got quite a few kills now. <laughs> Yeah, he seems to be. Twenty-two kills. Yeah, just warping in more and more zealots, just to screw his opponent. Oh god. All right, so Cook Trommel really does need to try and take a fourth or do some kind of damage. Just sitting here is not going to work. No, eventually his opponent's just going to starve him out. I kind of like the idea of the DTs, but to be honest, not super much. Well, they, I mean, usually they would work, but Cook Trouble puts so turrets so everywhere. Turrets, indeed. I feel like it's so hard. Against Frankly, someone I mean, else, it would probably be a, a fairly good idea. Yeah, frankly, I just like Daddy Rod. Just take all the guesses he can, saturate them as much as he can, and then just, uh, you know, warp in all the zealots and stalkers he can and just go A move into that third. And just start focusing those barracuses with the stalkers and this planetary to the zealots. Some more zealots moving in. Planetaries are going to get some more kills. I'm going to take some damage. They're on 3 and 31. Oh, that, that is not going to go down by any means, the fourth thing he's trying to take. Uh, there's a DT trying to move into the natural here. Mm -hmm. Should be out of range. No. It's not. Not quite. Unfortunate. <sighs> it was oh, really was close. And uh, once again... Uh, Kick Trouble is starting to head towards that really, really beefy late game army, which is going to be very hard to stop. Unless, uh, 
suddenly we see a surge of Voidrays and uh, Tempest, I guess. It really doesn't seem to like going for Tempest. No, he seems to prefer carriers, which just kind of suck versus battlecruisers, unfortunately. Oh, that CC moved over oh, at the wrong CC time. Is super dead. So dead. It's a very dead CC. Ooh. Oh! Oh, there's some, there's some, oh, some duds of Seeker. Oh, those feedbacks could be massive from these. There's a huge number of Templar. If they can get in there. Well, they should be able to, because there's nothing that shoots that quickly or uh, ability, has abilities that kill that quickly on the Terran side that can kill those high Templar all before they can feed back no. everything the Terran has. We'll see. We'll see. He's moving in. Oh, let's see this. Oh, the feedback's They go real. down and the storms. Storms as well. Ah, the storms are good. They do a lot here. Yeah. Yeah, well, the problem the ravens is are gone. Enough stalkers, though, I think. And, uh, didn't get the cancel on that can. CC, though. I think he should have uh, made sure to feed back everything before he attacked him, though. Mmm. Yep. Should have done Actually, a little bit it's... more rather than going yeah. for the storms. Mm -hmm. Still not too bad for him though. He can trade him efficiently if he wants to. It yeah. doesn't really hurt him much. He's so far ahead workers. at this point. There's just 81 workers. It's just so many workers. You can just keep sending in waves after waves of zealots and zealots and zealots into that natural until everything is dead. <laughs> well, third I mean, he's 4,000 minerals and he's mining. Let's have a look at that income. 2,000 a minute. Mm, that's kind of crazy. Double the amount of workers of his opponent. Some zealots are moving in the here. Finally the stargates go down. Finally the tech into stargate goes down. Four stargates. <laughs> Four stargates. Plus the one's proxy. Before. Another CC got stopped from being built. And this one's gonna... Nope. They're gonna go for the refinery. <laughs> I thought they were gonna stop it landing, but no. Oh no! Uh, I don't know if to be ha whether to be happy or sad that there's a fleet being going down. It really depends on what he does with it. <laughs> yeah, indeed, that's what I'm thinking. If he gets this tempest finally, he'll be in a good, decent spot at least. Yeah. Looks like if he those ravens at least, that'd be nice. We've well, got but DTs in here now. So strong. Problem with going. Just uh, a lot of Raven. Um, I mean, the problem going with them, just a lot of Tempest is that those uh, PDDs are going to stop them very harshly. Mm, and there is a fair few Ravens at this point. Yeah. Oh no, a so lot of them got killed like actually. There's three. Oh, but it's not. He's just going to go for this straight up Voyager mass. Well, it's better than carriers. Yeah. Only problem is those voyagers are gonna clump, and when they clump, the ravens are gonna pee, uh, seek a missile. And mm. voyagers are not fast. They're not. Mm. And if those clumped up voyagers eat a lot of seeker missiles, they're gonna die very quickly. Jeez, this amount of zealots that have died in this game has gotta be quite yeah. incredible. Oracle attacking uh, Trommel's third. Not sure if it got any kills. It's up to 15 kills, actually, that one. Oh, that was, oh, wow, that was nice. Yeah, there's a lot of chrono being Daddy used. Daddy has weapons. killed 64 yeah. workers. Yep, to five. Damn. That's insane. Look at what a unit's lost in general. That's um, quite a difference. And now the unit's lost, the um, resources lost. Actually, seems to favor Kirk Channel a lot. Channel a lot. Mm. So that's quite a switch. So he got this fleet beacon, and he's doing nothing with it. Quite surprised. Not yet. Getting more stargates. Hopefully, he'll tech into some. Um. Right, into some... The void rays have been spotted. Yeah, he now knows that he's up against void rays. So he's been very worried. We'll see what he does in reaction to this. So his Raven control is top notch. Cook Trommel in general just doesn't seem to want to attack. Well, if you're going turtle neck, that's the best way to do it. Yeah. I mean, it worked in the last game. Yeah. And that is keeping an eye on every other expansion. He's going to take this expansion and he's got the proxy stargate up. There's like seven voyagers being made all at once. Half of them being chronoed as well. Mm. 
And Daddy is That's taking the gold. Oh wow. That's a zealot there, so. Not gonna be easy for him to take, that's for sure. No. Um. Let's have a check on these. Is that planetary got any more kills now? Oh. Ah, it's still on 32. Oh, he's fortune 71 1, whereas the battle is already 3 3. Hmm. 2 2 is most of the way done. Yeah. Well, to attack, two armor is a little behind. Yeah. It's looking like there's not going to be an engagement anytime soon, though. Yeah, this is a super fascinating game once again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I go I mean, for it's the really... shield upgrades as well. Yeah. It's really weird, but... Uh... Well, I don't even know what to expect from this anymore. Again. And of course, Daddy Ra has no oh. army because he's like 81 workers, so... We've got a, a bunch of suck... probes heading in here. <laughs> He's gonna suck some probes, which is very good because he needs to get rid of workers. Yeah, he has so many. Way, way too many. many. 74 workers still. That Oracle's up to 17 kills now. It's still alive. So, apparently, not learning his lesson from last time. That he still thinks that's a good idea. That it's got a mothership. Still gonna <sighs> suck some more probes. At least those Voyagers have a better chance than, uh, than the carriers. Yeah. True, but there's still the still ravens. the ravens. That is a big problem he's going to have to deal with. Five ravens at this point, and he's building more. Uh, he just walked in a DT. Where are the DTs hanging out? No idea. I've seen a few come in. Oh, there's one uh, on the bottom right. Um, oh, which is going, going to stop that, that there. actually. Yeah, it's going to chill that there so that I can't land. Yeah. Hopefully you've had his opponent noticing, I think is the idea. Uh, not make carriers. Please not make carriers. <laughs> 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 I love that. Terran. <laughs> oh. No, come on. Power of Terran. Alright, this oh. DT is going to be taken out. Um, quite yep, no reaction there. <laughs> Well, I guess you're just F doing at this point. Yeah. <laughs> just send everything. I think that did actually got away from there for a second, but I was gonna try and go at it though, so oh. that's not a good life that's not a good sa personal safety decision. No. It is still alive. Somehow. There. Ah, yeah. oh, and never stays. It walks into its death. There we go. I guess he needs that supply for more void race. Yeah. And he's got three so three on the way. Many minerals. Why the why tr why did Daniel not just warp in a million zealots just to that third before though? I don't really understand. Try and catch his opponent's ar army out of position because there's only so many zealots that a planetary can handle by itself, even two planetaries. Mm. It can handle quite a lot though. True. <laughs> quite All a right, lot. So the three three is going to be finished very soon for uh, Daniel. Mm. On the air. Alright, Stalkers are heading around. That's They're a lot not going to do too though. well. And so many Ravens as well. It's like eight Ravens. Well, that is rather nice for him. Oh, might get a fair few workers here. I'm yeah, going to definitely do that. Minimize that income. Alright, so all those Stalkers go down, but more workers have been killed. Up to 71 now. You can't just be using them to try and make supply for those voyages to keep popping out. I just got a high tempo now. If he feedbacks those ravens, that would be good, but it's just so hard to do in the club of air units. Yeah, that would be really difficult to do with so many battle yeah. cruisers around. Just such a big clump of Terran. Man, this is such a weird set of games. I know. It's I so don't long know. as well. It's like a 40 minute game, holy damn. I still don't know what's going to happen here. I mean, Cook Trommel was so far behind, but... Yeah, and this is the decider, so this is where it ends for one of these guys. And this kind of makes me sad, I wish both of these guys could go through. Yeah, it is going to end entirely on one engagement, because Cook Trommel cannot replace his army. Yeah, but Daddy Ra, to some extent, at least can. Yeah, Daddy would be fine. A ton. Um, it all. Cook Trommel has to win the fight to stay in it. 
He's just a win or lose, basically. Daddy's gonna try and move in on a third here. Oh, that's gonna melt very quickly. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, that's what I expected from Voyagers, to be honest. <laughs> yep, that's what they do! They melt all the planetaries. You can just get out now. That's really yeah, nice. Yeah, just do that and leave. Yeah, and then Battle they can just decide to go for that fourth. Yeah. He's gonna head around. Yep. Chris Lizard, Rommel's trying to hunt him down. Back. Get on it. Oh! No. Oh, they're heading back the other way. Yeah, he's gonna try and retake that base because he needs to. And now time for, um, I guess, for Daddy Ra to try and take out that fourth. If we can keep taking out bases and just harassing him from every side, it's gonna really worth it. Oh god. <laughs> Daddy's gotta be really careful do. with this army. Yeah. He needs to just keep darting in, taking out buildings, and then leaving. Yeah, that's really the most efficient way to treat this army. And Cook Trommel is way out of position again. So this mm -hmm. base, the base is, is going it's gonna go down. Yeah, that's very quick too. He's turned on Void Race. Yep. Both planetary is taken out. And I was gonna try and cut him off, but those just down because it's just not fast enough. It's just so slow. Oh, and he's moved in the wrong direction. But that the only problem is that the Voyager overcharge is not going to be available right now. Okay, we have, here's the fight. Storm's oh, going storms. down. He's dropping them all at the same time, though, which is a big problem. And this is what I said about Voyager's dying to um, seek and missiles, though. Yeah, that was some good hits. Ah, uh, Storm's instead of feedback. And now he's actually made a lot of Vikings to help this as well. This uh. is really painful for Daddy. That went uh, so one-sided. Yeah. Oh, wow. This style is insane from, from a correct channel. Oh, your it's mic has done it again. Oh. <laughs> it's static oh, okay. all over the place. Awesome. My, how many Vikings is that? Thirteen. A lot of. All right, army supply is uh, favoring Cook Trommel quite a lot. Yeah, why is why still favoring Daddy? But that doesn't really matter. Yeah, if he's... you can't get up an army to actually fight this uh, monstrous army of Terran. Got a uh, zealot attack here. That actually have done quite a lot to that base. They've. Yeah, just denied it. That's straight up. Made yep. a lift. Didn't even lift, bro. Kept trying this. And he's uh, got workers doing nothing at the moment. I was going to try and retake that other race. Alright. That's good. Uh, but Dummy Rock have is... an effectively infinite amount of Zelda's just warped in. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he doesn't even have charge yet. He's just started it. Because the army of Void Race is starting to build up at least a little bit again, but... The Voyages just don't trade well versus the Ravens. No, that is the problem. Like and he oh, keeps going for Ravens. Storm instead of feedback. Wait, there's only... Uh, what the, uh, there's nine Ravens still left. Oh, that's so not unfor not fortunate. Right. But feedbacking those Ravens from amongst all the units is just almost impossible. There's just too many. And somebody should tell Daddy that uh, Storms don't actually stack. You have to do them individually, like one by one. Yeah. They, once them finishes the next and all that, you want to maximize their potential. Oh god. Alright, Cook Trommel is going to try and take this gold. Well, that's by, a pretty risky move, but it might make it work. turrets everywhere. Uh-huh, Daddy seems to be running out of ideas at this point. I'm sending in Zealots again. But, um... They didn't really Trying achieve anything. Something happen now. Perhaps just sending the Zelda into the wrong base, you should go for that fourth. That's not a planetary. This is... I don't even know. Control could attack cannons. this base. This is a lot of right. cannons. Wow. That is a lot. Hmm. Not sure what to think of that. There's a lot of void race he made as well again. Not sure what to think of that either. 
There's a lot of ravens, and I'm pretty sure I know what to think of the ravens. Hmm. Well, I just... <sighs> it's not just the ravens. The Balkuser can just... Uh, you know, Yamato can and all the voyages it can as well. The spider ship's gonna continue to do absolutely nothing that he's making again. He's, oh god, why? Why does he keep doing this? I need to make sure to send him a very large card just saying Tempest on it at yeah. some point. Just just Tempest. That's all, that's all you need to say. Yeah. And feedback. Yeah. But the problem with feedback is that which ones do you... What do you feedback here? Well, I mean, just feedbacking anything would be better than storming it. Yeah, at this point it would be. A lot of... Um, High tempest just using the feedback might be actually quite useful if you can't use the if you can't if you use a few seeker missiles or uh, Yamato cannons that would be really nice. Yeah. Uh... Oh god, that army supply for Kirk Trommel. 164 <laughs> immortal sky terran. Just fuck you army basically. Crazy. So few workers, it's just so heavily focused on the army. Mm -hmm. But Daddy could, I mean, look at his minerals. He could just put cannons all over the map. That's not even going to help him, though, at this point. <laughs> we might as well. <laughs> what are cannons we going to do here? <laughs> Pulling workers, though, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, he is. Not sure why. Hmm. Against a, a I'd like to know army, myself. so... I'm just hoping the more I drink, the more this game is going to make sense. I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> Hasn't worked so far. Alright, what have we got now? Uh, 18 battle cruisers. Uh, damn. 15 vikings. And 9 ravens, still. Uh, Daddy is moving out. 10 ravens, sorry. Wow. Looks like he's actually going to get behind the army of Cook Trommel. Uh... The army supply is just so uneven at the moment, though. So like 20 workers for Kirk Trammell. I'm not sure why he's brought all the workers. I guess this is Yeah, just... I don't really know what this is going to accomplish. I guess it's just a last-ditch effort or something. Yeah, just go for it. He should be able to get quite a bit done before the battle cruisers get there, if he moves in. Uh, but he doesn't want to go for the base. He needs to kill this army. That's really what matters. You can't kill all the buildings before the army gets there. No, obviously not, but could have done something, but he well, just waited. One boy dead. Uh, the Storming spawns. again. No feedbacks. No. Oh. Well, there's still damage, but just not enough, and this is going to be GG, I think. Yeah, so many Mato cannons. Yeah. There it is, and after 53 minutes of this, <laughs> Shamo moves on through. Oh god, the that final. was such a long game. <laughs>